Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. How IIC has changed my life? So this question I was asked when I participated in a podcast in Geo Classes channel. And the host Himansu actually asked me this question. And in that podcast, I provide a brief response uh, of it. But later I thought about it in deeply. And I realized that that All India Rank 37 in 2017 and subsequently joining IIC in 2018 has transformed my life completely. My way of thinking to any problem, uh, my approach towards life, everything has changed. And that's why I think that I should make a video to discuss about this particular topic. Because people, most of the time, they think that, you know, they should go for MTech in IITs or ISC just because, you know, at the end of their MTech curriculum, they will be having a you know, huge package job. But apart from that high package job, there is a huge scope of learning that is waiting for you during your MTech in different IITs and IIC. And in this video, I'll be talking about that. What are the different aspects where IIC has changed my life? So if you want to know detail about it, please stay tuned with this video till end. And if you like this video, please like it. And if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get instant notification. Without any delay, let's get started into today's video. So the first benefit that I got from those two years in ISC during my MTech was the opportunity to learn from all the best institutions in our country. And once you are in ISC, you are actually surrounded by the best mind of the country. During those two years, I was fortunate to credit different courses, which is taught by different, uh, you know, renowned professor or researchers in those areas. So in ISC, a course will be taught by the professor who is doing research also in that area. And these professors, as you know, they are world-class researchers. They are renowned researchers who is very famous internationally for their contribution of doing research in that area or in that domain. So that's why when they will teach you those courses, that actually opportunity for you to learn as much as possible from the expert that is available for you. And not only professors are great, your peer classmates, they are also gate toppers. They have been maybe toppers of their respective BTEC colleges. And that actually provides you a very competitive environment where you have to compete with all of these gate toppers who has accumulated uh, in, in, in a class. And by competing with them, your actually skill set will improve. Your knowledge will be uh, increased. Uh, so personally, I have learned a lot from both my professors and my peer classmates. And I remember during my time, we form a very small study group of five to six people where we used to discuss about different concepts that has been taught uh, in the class, different assignments that is given to us. Before exam also, we used to discuss about different topics. And before placement also, I remember we, we used to discuss about different machine learning algorithms uh, that is there uh, in, the, in the syllabus. So yeah, via those arguments, those study groups, I actually, you know, cleared many of my doubts. So that actually helped me to, you know, build my skill set and enhance my uh, knowledge about different machine learning concepts. So what I feel is from these different IITs and ISC, whatever learning that you'll be getting, that is kind of the value addition for your life. So the next thing that I learned in those two years of my MTech in ISC was how to deal with extreme course pressure and how to manage time and meet the deadline. So once you join ISC or one of these top IITs, if you are from a tier two or tier three colleges, the first challenge is to cope up with this new education system. And in this new system, a very less will be taught by the professor in the class and they will ask you to cover all the other things by your own. And different assignments, quizzes, midterms will keep on coming in regular intervals and you have to meet the deadline. And you will find that whatever question that is being asked in these assignments or whatever question that is coming in the quizzes or midterms, that is completely different than what is being taught in the class. So that's why a lot of hard work, a lot of effort you have to put from your end to do well in all of these assignments and all these midterm. And even after doing a lot of hard work, you will find that you are not able to solve all the questions of the assignments or you are not able to attempt all the questions that is asked in different quizzes and midterm. So you will feel frustrated. You will feel that you are not able to cope up with the system. And this struggle will we'll keep on uh, coming in your life throughout the semester as long as you'll be creating these different courses. And moreover, you need to meet deadline of different assignments or projects that will be coming from different courses because, you know, every course will put their assignment and their project and their deadline will be there independent of other courses and they won't listen that some other course has a deadline on the same day. So it might happen you have a midterm on a day and on the same day you have two deadlines of two assignments or two projects. 
So this kind of situation, you know, very frequently it happens in the IIC or IIT system and you need to somehow manage it and you need to somehow meet the deadline. So that's an additional pressure that you do there. Now, if you spend those two years in IIC and regularly deal with this kind of huge pressure, eventually you will learn how to manage pressure, how to do time management and how to meet the deadline. Because every week you are you are dealing with same kind of situation and eventually learn how to manage your whole time and still meet the deadline. And this is something that's a huge learning for you because in your latter life when you when you will be joining any any company, any product based company or any corporate company, similar kind of pressure will keep on coming in your life. And then you know how to deal with that pressure and how to you know manage manage your deadline or manage your time. And even after you know MTech, if you are willing to pursue PhD, there also pressure will be huge. And then also this learning will be helpful for you that how to deal with uh, the extreme academic pressure uh, during your PhD days. I can share my personal experiences. So when I completed my master's on MTech from ISC Bangalore, when I joined IIT Kharagpur for PhD, in my first semester, I had to credit three courses. Uh, so during uh, creating those courses at IIT Kharagpur, I never felt the pressure. The pressure was there in IIT Kharagpur, but as I learned how to deal with pressure in my MTech days in ISC, so I easily managed. I still remember till midterm, my score was not that good. I was getting 50% of the marks in all the exams and assignments. But after that, I picked up and eventually at the end of the semester, I got 10 in all the, all the, all the subjects. So yeah, that was kind of the learning that even now also I feel that, you know, whenever there is a pressure, whenever there is a deadline for any conference or something, I somehow able to manage it and I somehow uh, know how to deal with that pressure and meet the deadline. So this is one biggest learning that I've gained from those hectic years from ISC Bangalore that, you know, you will know how to manage time, how to deal with the pressure and how to meet deadline. The next thing that I learned from my MTech days was to think and understand any concept and there is no scope of growth learning if you are doing your MTech from ISC. It's an honest confession that during my BTEC days and even during the gate preparation also, sometimes I prefer to go for rot learning. If I am not able to understand something, what I do, what I used to do was that uh, I used to learn the pattern of, of solving that particular question. I solve few questions following that pattern and then I remember that pattern. So it's kind of memorizing the pattern of solving the question rather than actually understanding the concept and then solving the question. So this is the path of rot learning that I feel many students used to approach and I was not exception. But as I mentioned before that in ISC in the class, very less will be taught and in the assignments and quizzes and midterms, completely different will be coming. So if you don't understand the concepts, it's very difficult for you to attempt the questions in the assignments or in the exams. And there is no question, question test paper or there is no previous year uh, question paper for last five years because every time they set up a really new question paper. So there is no sample question paper from where you can practice. So that's why the only way to do well in those exams and assignments is that you understand the concept very well. You think about it, you know every detail about it and then only in the exam when a new question will come up, you can attempt it and you can do well in the exam. And immediately after joining ISC, I realized that I have to leave this habit of memorizing and rote learning. Rather, I have to build up a habit of thinking and understanding each concept that is being taught in the class because otherwise I won't be able to do well in different assignments or different questions that is being asked in the exams. Uh, so I started practicing this habit and over the period of uh, time, uh, I practiced it and it actually transformed my life completely. Now, whenever I see a particular problem or particular research question, I try to think about it and try to understand uh, the particular question and then only attempt. Next, my mathematical foundation has improved a lot during those two years in ISC. So during my undergraduate days, I was very weak in mathematics. I somehow liked linear algebra and those basic probability formula helped me to crack the gate exam. But, but overall, in math, I was really, really poor. But during those two years in ISC, I have learned in st statistic probability, I have learned advanced linear algebra, I have learned optimization in great details. But yeah, I mean, my mathematical foundation has improved a lot from the ISC days and whatever I've learned in these uh, few areas of mathematics, that is actually helping me to do research in AI machine learning. The next benefit that I got from those two years in ISC is my foundation for data science and machine learning has been developed from the scratch during those two years. And that is thanks to the very well-structured course curriculum that is offered uh, for MTech in CSE at ISC. So in the first semester, I learned linear algebra probability. In the second semester, I learned basic and advanced machine learning. In the third semester, I learned optimization. In the final semester, I learned deep learning. 
सो दिस ओएल स्ट्रक्चर कोर्स करिकुलम एक्चुअली हेल्प हेल्पफुल फॉर एनी स्टूडेंट्स लाइक मी हु हैज जीरो नॉलेज अबाउट मशीन लर्निंग प्रायर टू जॉइनिंग आई एस सी एंड फ्रॉम द वेरी स्क्रैच आई लर्न द प्री रिक्विजिट ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग द फर्स्ट सेमिस्टर एंड ग्रेजुअली मूव टू द एडवांस लेवल टॉपिक लाइक मशीन लर्निंग ऑप्टिमाइजेशन एंड डीप लर्निंग सो दिस इज एक्चुअली रियली हेल्पफुल फॉर मी दैट आई लर्न एवरीथिंग अबाउट मशीन लर्निंग एंड डेटा साइंस ड्यूरिंग दोज टू ईयर्स ऑफ एम टेक करिकुलम एंड बिल्ड माई स्किल सेट अराउंड इट ऑल्सो इन फ्यू ऑफ द मशीन लर्निंग कोर्सेस इन आई एस सी इन द असाइनमेंट्स यू आर आर्ट टू इम्प्लीमेंट डिफरेंट एलगोरदम्स और न्यूडल नेटवर्क विदाउट यूजिंग पॉपुलर यू नो मशीन लर्निंग फ्रेमवर्क लाइक पाई टॉर्च एंड टेंसर कोर्स सो वॉट वी आर अलाउड इज टू यूज जस्ट नन पाई एंड यू हैव टू इम्प्लीमेंट डिफरेंट पॉपुलर मशीन लर्निंग एलगोरिदम न्यूडल नेटवर्क दिस वॉज अगेन अज यू नो लर्निंग अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर यू बिकॉज using those tools like pytorch tensorflow you can easily implement this algorithms and it might happen you don't really understand the algorithm but you have implemented it using different api calls but if you have to implement those algorithm using only numpy then you need to understand that algorithm end to end how it works so everything you need to very clear about then only you will be able to implement neural network without using those framework so that i feel that was a really you know great learning opportunity for me and for other students also that we have implemented neural network how it works forward pass backward pass or different other algorithm also using only numpy in in these tools and all they are kind of inbuilt you don't need to do any kind of uh, matrix operation implementation but when you are implementing these algorithms using numpy you have to implement those matrix operation by your own and that actually give you a clear understanding of these different algorithms the final benefit that i think i have received from isc is the flavor of research and which actually helped me to pursue phd later so i have mentioned about it before also that when i was leaving isro and when i was joining isc i was not sure that whether i will be pursuing phd after mtech or not so in my mind it was that that if uh, i will explore research in isc and if i find it suitable for me i'll be going for phd or else i'll be going for any product based company or working there so that's why you know the final year i i i plan to explore research end to end i didn't go for any internship i stayed in the campus and started working uh, under supervision of my um, guide that is professor narasimha murthy and i started collaborating with uh, dr samaran mandapada he was then a uh, phd scholar in my lab so i started working with sambaranda under supervision of mn murthy sir and i started working in the research problem and throughout the final year i worked on the research problem uh, you know we submitted uh, our work in few places it got a rejection and finally it got accepted uh, during the end of my mtech tenure so this whole process of doing a research for one year end to end you know right. writing the paper submitting it to another another place then getting rejection then changing it so every every aspect of research i have seen during my final year of mtech and that actually boost my confidence and i feel that you know research is something that i can do it's suiting my you know interest so that actually helped me to decide for going for phd so flavor of research was uh, the final thing that i received from isc that it helped me to know that how research works how research systems work and that's why i joined phd ladder at iit kadu yeah so that's it about this video these are different aspects isc has affected my life and transformed my life completely and i personally feel mtech from iit and isc is not just for the money or not just from the high package job there are many other things from the learning point of view that you can gain from those two years in iit and isc and that will be a value addition for you for both your professional and personal life so that's why you know you shouldn't just go for mtech just for money if you are interested for a overall learning of your life then it will be a great opportunity for you to spend those two years in this being my institutions so yeah that's it about this video if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and if you have any query or comment regarding this particular section please feel free to comment it in the comment section i'll try to answer them there or maybe i have started a new ses session question of the week there i can discuss about that question and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that when i upload a new video you will get a instant notification that's it about this video i'll be doing next video until then bye